Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my video series Tech 15 and today I'm going to be talking to you about Media History Digital Library. This is one of the AASL Best Website winners for 2014 and essentially this is a website that brings online access to histories in cinema, broadcasting, and sound. This is also a nonprofit initiative dedicated to digitizing collections of classic media periodicals from 1904 to the 1960s. So let's go ahead and get started and I can show you how to find different types of periodicals in this collection. If you're interested in media history, media magazines, media periodicals, these are not just text. These are full collections, advertisements, periodicals, images. So if you're doing any type of study with your students on 1920s, 1940s advertisements, 1920s imaging, history of costumes, history of clothing, all of those types of things, you can find all of those here. And these are the full color images, magazines in full, completely free and available to you for you and your students. It is an amazing collection that is continuously growing and it is really, really neat. So if you go up here to the top of the screen, you've got your collections and all of your different materials that you can look at. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the titles of the different magazines that they have, and there are many. So you can take a look and see all the different titles that you can shop, look at, look through. Many more than, of course, I can list here in this video. Their blog keeps you up to date on information about what is going on with the Media History Digital Library. About is about their information on this particular collection. Press and Awards gives you all of the information about any awards they have won. Sponsorship, you will find out about who sponsors this particular collection. This is a public domain collection of media periodicals and their sole purpose is to provide access to the public to the histories of cinema, broadcasting, and sound. Let's go ahead and take a look at, maybe I want to look at some fan magazine collections. Those are fun. And I'm specifically going to look at photo play. I like that one. And so if I wanted to find photo play, I can scroll down here. They're in alphabetical order. And I can go to photo play. It's going to be right here in extensive runs. They have select holdings as well. Extensive runs are, of course, what they have longer or more extensive collections of. This photo play they have from 1914 to 1943. And if I wanted to look at 1920, I actually have three options. I can read it, which means I have the option to read the magazine. It's going to come up in full and I can actually go from page to page. I can look at advertisements. I can look at my articles. These are the full magazines. I also can search inside this particular magazine and the search feature is only available issue by issue, copy by copy. We also have the option to download this magazine in full. Downloading does take a bit of time, so I'm not going to show you that, but this comes in a PDF full downloadable format. Then you can also do iAge, the instant archive. And that gives you a little more of the read online PDF. You can do the black and white format. And you can see over here where it is viewing the book and you're actually getting the download and you're seeing all of the slides as it is downloading for you. And then again, you're getting the flippable. And you're getting a smaller version of this. You can also do full screen if you choose. And you're also getting the information here at the bottom with the author volume, subject, publisher, year, call number. So you can use these for citations and teach students about citations if you choose to use these particular pieces of information um, and media tools with your students, especially if you want them to cite these for a project or anything like that in librarianship, in your library projects, in a history project, anything for social studies. I could see this being used for language arts. Pretty much you're limited only by your imagination, as I say quite often when it comes to this particular tool. You have a wide extensive collection here. I highly recommend taking a look, seeing all of the different titles. 
Your students will be very interested in what was available to the public when you're talking about public relations, advertisements, what did they used to sell in the 1930s, the 19 teens, and these go back all the way to 1906 and up to the 1960s. So everything would be very interesting to your students. And it is a wonderful collection and I hope you thoroughly enjoy it. I know that I have. Thank you very much. We'll have more videos for you soon. Have a great day.